just sign the proof here. And do this as a false proof here. Now again, we have to multiply this or divide by. Okay, this is cos e to the power n minus one theta of two. So now in this case, twice only two is lacking. We have to again write here the two times e to the power two sine theta as it is. Then it will be two sine two theta into the power two. Okay, into cos four theta as it is. This is. Up to cos two to the power n minus one into theta. So what do we see here? This is again sine four theta now. Sine two theta cos two theta two sine two theta and cos theta is double of that angle. So this is sine four theta. Again, it has come out as two to the power sine theta into cos four or sine four theta into cos four theta is already there. Lacking two. We have to again divide it by two to the power n minus one into theta. Okay, so what do we see here? So we see here that third time, if I do two to the power three into sine theta, okay, into two sine four theta, into cos four theta, and next will be. Uh, cos 6 theta. It is cos 6 theta and so on. Of uh, course, we get cos n minus one theta. What do we see? This is third step. We have divided by two again, but at the third time, it is cos 4 theta. We are taking here two, one more than this. But this is one lesser. This is one more. Okay, three times here. This is now cos 4 theta. Third step we are doing. Meanly. Up to this point, we will get finally. In this way, let me take. So this is now eight theta. Or it it will be eight theta. Or twice of that angle is uh, is increasing. It will be eight theta, not six theta. Eight theta than sixteen theta than thirty two theta like that. It is moving in that way. So finally, we will get one of the ones two to the power n n of time is equal to. Sine theta is as it is. Okay, so that will come out as sine. Finally, the last step will be sine is power. This is n minus one, but it will be n of time. Two is power n n times two is power n. Okay, but third time we are doing, then it is going four one more n minus one times it be two. It will be n times it will be n sine of n theta. What the point? This is this value upon two to the power n sine theta. This is the answer here. This is the right answer. Why? Because four times this is three here coming. It means we are doing one more times. Okay. In the denominator we are coming. N times if we do this is in the denominator we are having n times. This is sec. Okay. Third time we are doing this is three times. N n times we do. N times. Therefore, this value is coming n times. If it is n minus one time, here it is three. It is coming four. In that way, it will be one more n n times. This is the right hand side here. Then the process will increase. This is two to the power n times n x n x process will be there. Next time will be four. Will be here five theta times. Okay. Uh, this is now eight theta. So this is twice eight theta will come out. Okay, so that is eight. Here it is four. Twice of that is kind. All right, so that is twice of that. So this is sine sine of it is coming. A result of this will be sine of two into this is two theta. Four. This is two into four two. Four into two theta. That means that is coming. So all right, eight theta means two into four three. Two to the power three. It is coming. Sine eight theta suppose. Sine eight theta means two to the power three. Similarly, this is n. N is will be two to the power n. Okay, this is three. Here it is sine eight theta. In this case, the result of this. So this is n. This is two to the power three. 
is a 2 raised power 3, a t is 2 raised power 3. Therefore, nth root, nth times, if we do here n, will be 2 raised power n. That's why I was okay. This is our answer. Hence, 19th question. The last question we can take. 20th one. Question number 20th. Let me check. What does it say? Question number 20. They are giving us who get 2 into 10 to the is equal to cos x minus sin x divided by equal plus x cos x plus sin x upon cos x minus sin x which is minus cos x minus sin x upon cos x plus sin x okay now let me take the right hand side right hand side is equal to this is solution we are doing solution here right hand side is this value if I take LC okay let me take cos x minus plus sin x minus cos x minus sin x upon okay this is cos x minus sin x and here it is cos x plus sin x. Now let me take LC. LC is cos x minus sin x, cos x plus sin x. That is cos square x minus sin square x. That value is there multiplying both. This multiplied with this, this is cos x plus sin x whole square minus. Here it is cos x minus sin x whole square. The same thing will be there. We see here, so opening the whole square, it will be cos square x plus sin square x, which is minus or plus 2 sin x into cos x. Here it is, with minus sin, it will be cos square x plus sin square x, which is minus 2 sin x into cos x, that is the value, divided by this is cos 2x here cos 2 x only because cos square x minus sin square is cos 2 x. Now here it is 1. It is 1 plus 2 sin x cos x. Minus sin. This is 1 minus sin or 2 sin x into cos x. Okay. If I open with minus sin, minus sin cancel out. It will be minus 1 plus 1 cancel out. This is 4 times. 4 into sin x into cos x. Why? Because this is added 2 sin x, 2 sin x cos x, this is minus minus plus 2 sin x cos x. So in 4 sin x cos x, we have to put on 2 sin x cos x is sin 2x. We have to make cos 2x. What we see is nothing but 2 into 10 2x. Okay, so this is the right left hand side. 10x. For the point, this is the result of this question. Or let me write here. We have obtained 4 times 2 into 2 sin x into cos x. We have obtained denominator. In the denominator, we were having cos 2x, cos square x minus sin square x. That was cos 2x. And this is sin 2x. 2 into sin 2x upon cos 2x. That means 2 into 10 to this. This is the right hand side. Okay, hence completed. So, all the 20 questions we have completed. I noted down only 20 questions here because that was the space available. Okay, so the final, uh, I mean, the last question which we have done here. Okay, so see you in the next lecture series. But these questions are very important, they are tricky questions. If any minor mistakes is like I get completed in the 15th one, if I have any uh, mistake in component or division of the prime, after that I just include upon this. But in this way, if we are committing any error, then a minor mistake can okay, uh, make the result different, I mean, a wrong answer. Okay, so that is the point here. Please try to understand that or uh, calculate them, understand the uh, formula, how we have applied component and division, how we just completed all these questions. 
Okay, every every question is very clear. We have to just understand that so that one can get master with the subject. And after that, hundred percent master is assured. This is I can guarantee. There is no doubt about this. Okay, then see you in the next lecture series, which is on some other topic. See you.